Like most autistic children, Julian Brown has trouble reading emotions in people's faces. Now he's getting help from facial recognition software that runs on Google Glass, the computerized eyewear developed by Google. Still, there's not a machine that can read your mind, but this helps with the emotions. You know, recognizing them. Drink a special potion. Julian wears a so-called autism glass for an hour a day when he interacts with family members. The device alerts him to the emotions on their faces and tests his ability to read facial expressions. So I really think that would help autistic people a lot. Julian is one of about 100 autistic children participating in a Stanford University study to see if the device can help improve their face reading abilities. The Autism Glass program is meant to teach children with autism how to understand what a face is telling them. And we believe that when that happens, they will become more socially engaged. And as a consequence of that, gain confidence in social settings. Surprise. Stanford student Catalin Voss and researcher Nick Haber developed the software to analyze faces yeah. and recognize common emotions such as happy, angry, sad, and surprised. We kind of had the idea of basically creating a behavioral aid that would recognize the expressions and faces for you um, and then give you social cues according to those. The Stanford team hopes Autism Glass can provide affordable therapy that families can do at home. If the study shows positive results, the product could be commercially available within a few years. Anything that can help this population is very welcome and very, very important. But technology, even the best technology, will never be enough um, because we are dealing with a population with very, often very, very profound needs. Oh, and this one registered. The study is still in its early stages, but some parents say they already see a change in their children. It has helped our, our son who's using the Google Glasses connect with the family more. Um, he's talking more to us and he seems to be pausing more to just kind of gather information from us in conversation that I, I don't remember him doing before the program. Yeah, it was a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> High-tech tool helping kids connect with what they see. Terry Che, Associated Press, San Jose, California. I knew it would stay out in the sun.